Well, it's getting a little bigger. More people showing up here. Cars beeping and agreement. Beautiful day, warm, sunny. So why are you here today? Why am I here? Because they, they shouldn't lock us down. It's a freedom. Our First Amendment rights we should be here. And uh, Kinsley has no right to tell people when they can supply work for their families. And do you think that the government. do you think that the virus is a hoax? I don't know if it is or not, but uh, you know people die of the flu every year. Eighty thousand died last year alone from the common flu, and now they're shutting us down. I totally believe it's political, and uh, just because Trump is in office, they can try everything they can. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. I did. Governors of these states are doing this to see how much they can get away with, and hopefully people will just stand up and say enough is enough. Have you gotten your stimulus check yet? What do you plan to do with it when you get it? I'm going to give it to the small business owners. Nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Are you here today? I am here to defend the Constitution of the United States. Do you believe that the virus is a hoax? I believe that there is something, but I do believe that it's that people are being affected, that, since, that people have died, that people have um, become sick. So I don't believe it's completely uh, uh, ridiculous or, or what's the word for it? Um, unfounded. I believe that, there's, that there is something there. I just don't believe that the numbers are as high as they are and that it's a big, that, that I believe the media is making it out to be more than what it is. Have you got your stimulus check yet? Nope. I don't even believe I'll be getting one. You so don't think so? <laughs> okay. Thank you. It could be any disease. And so to prevent that, we want to mingle. I, myself, being a black woman in this town, we already feel isolated, okay? But now with this, what is it doing? It's driving us apart. We, we know each other, this is a small area, a small community, we've grown up together, I did, but you guys have welcomed me here. And you guys have given me an opportunity, so I wanted to thank Everybody. So just remember these things as you see them um, in the news media. The news media, we believe, is hyping it. Are there people affected? Absolutely. Absolutely. There are people being sick. But again, we have to keep the focus. Our town is small. We need the money. We need the resources. We need the economics. And we don't want our community to go down. And if we allow them to, our hospitals will be closed, our libraries will be closed, our children will have school, and guess where we'll have to go? Spokane. I'm not excited about driving to Spokane every two months, every time I need something. So I want to thank everybody for coming. What's your um, organization called? My name is Tracy. My organization is Parent Citizen, American Citizen. Yeah. <laughs> that's all that's important. So, what brings you here today? Are you talking to me? Yeah. There are a couple of things. We've done this long enough. I don't know how many people It's time to open. But as of this morning, these are the statistics. It 
his Do you think do you think the virus is a hoax? Yes. I I believe that there are people who are really got sick of the virus, but I think there's a lot of manipulation going on with the numbers and uh, attributable causes of death. And so those numbers. So I think there's been a lot of yes. Have you, you have you gotten your stimulus check yet? What are you going to do with it when you get it? Well, I'm contemplating donating it to someone who is struggling in their business. Very nice. But I don't, I haven't seen it. Thank you.